Hello everyone, I'm Nadi, and it's time for the stats segment of this season's playoffs. What I've done is gather the data and present it in a way which is hopefully easily digestible, and maybe we'll get some insights from it. Stats has always been something I crave at tournaments, so it's awesome to be here today to discover some cool shit about our 16 gamers. Let's get started. So, question one, who touches the least grass? By this, I mean who who's played the most games. Here we have a bar chart representing the number of matches each player has played across the four months of season six. And I've missed off the x-axis intentionally. There is one person who played more than 2,000 games, literally going off my chart. Who do you think it is out of our competitors? So here's all the players, and we can see it is the big monkey himself, with a very nice 2,069 games. On the flip side, the player with the least amount of games is Ultimate, with 244, which is still quite a lot, more than me anyway. I'll leave this up for a second for you to take in. Now, that's well and all, but how much time does that actually equate to? Now, the playtime stat tracked by rank is solely measured by in-game time, but I'm more interested in like a total playtime of players, so with queue time included. So I checked an 8 hour monkey stream with him around 2000 elo from last season, and I counted that he managed to get 35 games done. This comes out to just under 40 minutes per game, and this can be broken down further to 8.15 spent actually in the game, and 5.28 spent queuing, reviewing replays, or doing whatever, warming up. This is pretty much exactly a 60-40 split. So multiplication later, and we get that Amungi has roughly 470 hours unranked over the 4 month period that was Season 6, which is... not that bad I guess? Don't listen to the haters, Amungi. Keep playing. God damn it, what is this thing? This question is pretty difficult to answer, and I won't be able to do it justice in this small little segment. That said, we can look at the relatively one-dimensional statistic, which is average completion. It's important to remember though that an average, a mean, it isn't the whole story to someone's speedrunning profile. There's variance. Sometimes someone might be extremely slow and extremely, extremely fast. Sometimes people crumble in under pressure. Sometimes people die a lot and forfeit immediately. There's a lot of tales which this number doesn't tell. However, alongside ELO, it's a pretty good representation of a player's skill. For this section, I felt like doing something that no one's ever done before. And I'll be plotting the distribution of every single player's average completion in Season 6. Along the x-axis are dozens of 15 second ranges from 8 minutes up until 30 minutes, and the vast majority of the player base has an average completion which slots into one of these ranges, maybe even yours. The y-axis represents how many players have one of these averages, and this whole thing is called a histogram. It hosts a pretty lopsided distribution, and that's because as you get better at the game, it gets harder and harder to improve your average, of course. Our medium player lies at the 1730-45 to 45 class, right about here on the histogram. All right then, let's check out where our competitors sit. So our three demons with the fastest averages are Hax, Loki, and Dugal. No surprises there. One thing to note is that Benfi, despite being almost two minutes slower than our fastest players, still maintained a top 10 placement last season in phase points, which is like, kind of insane. I'll leave this up again for you to make your own judgment. I will say though, with Dugal having not yet played a game in the current season, Loki is running rampant with a 938 average, and that's across 78 completions, by the way. Someone may prove themselves to be the best this weekend and next, but I want to know who was reigning over everyone else over the four months of season six. Just like last time, I made a histogram, this time of everyone's elo at the end of last season. Each bar now represents a 20 elo range. A lot of people this season realized that ELO kind of felt a bit off, and you can kind of tell from this graph. I haven't done too much digging into it, but we can see that the number of players decreases past 1000 ELO. However, past 1700 ELO, high level players seem to just be smudged across the axis up until 2400. ELO in games typically follows like a nice curve which slowly leans itself into the axis, but that isn't really what we observe here. 
Anyways, here's the median at 950 ELO, and we can take a look at where our pros are. So it makes sense that our underdog LCQ winners are at the bottom of this range, since you need ELO for face points and you need face points to qualify normally. At the very top of the ranks we have Dugan Loki, actually sharing first place with 2413 ELO. But this isn't really satisfying. We kind of have two best players. Luckily, we're missing a dimension. Well, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Too bad you can't read it. Alright, alright, so maybe I spent hours and hours on something which looks like spaghetti, but we can still get value out of this kind of thing if instead of just tracking all 16 players' elo, we track 5 players' elos. Those 5 players would be Dugal, Hex, Loki, Rao, and Oxy. The reason we choose these players is because they've all been ranked number 1 at least once during Season 6. So, once again, with proper color coding this time. Raul managed to take first place for a total of two days, while Oxy took it for eight. However, the other three were kind of just in a league of their own. 30 days for Loki, 39 days for Hax, and the only player who can be considered most dominant of Season 6 is Dugao with 43 days as number one. But the question is, can you convert that success into another playoff win? If you want to watch this video again, I'll be uploading it on my channel after the stream ends. Also, make sure to go over there and subscribe, because I'll be making more stuff like this in the future. And I like my numbers going up, so yeah. Anyways, best of luck to everyone playing today. You've really done great to make it here, so congrats. I've been your host Natty, and I hope you have a nice day.